Welcome to the Catskill Regional Teacher Center newsletter for May 2021. I'd like to start off by thanking Amy Downey for the tremendous amount of work that she has been putting into the Teacher Center, uh, including this newsletter. Uh, please note we've changed yet again how our newsletter looks. Uh, again, we are hoping that this will be more user-friendly for you. We are hoping that there is more per screen. Uh, it's especially useful if you are viewing this on a smartphone uh, in, in landscape mode. There's more information per screen and it allows for less clicking. I uh, just wanted to point out um, our programs are in the middle. Teacher center oriented programs are in the middle. Extra additional things will be on the side. This is uh, Teacher Appreciation Week coming up in the first week of May. Uh, and we really couldn't do what we do without teachers. So uh, as a thank you, you should all be getting notepads in your um, in your mailboxes as a thank you. And uh, we had several teachers reach out to us thanking us for the work that we're doing here at the Teacher Center. And so we put them into our newsletter here because, again, we appreciate what you're doing. And it's wonderful when people recognize what we are doing for you. Uh, we, again, continue with CAFLA. CAFLA is the foreign language network of the Catskill Regional Teacher Center. Uh, we will have the second of a two-part series on a comprehensible input. Uh, all, all teachers, of course, are welcome to join us, but this one has been designed specifically for foreign language teachers. We have a annual meeting on May 4th. You are all welcome to join us. This year, we are going to be celebrating all teacher leaders. This includes all teachers in our region that, that have held, um, co been a cooperating teacher for our student teachers, nurturing that next generation teacher, our building ambassadors. We will uh, recognize all of our union association presidents, as well as our policy board members. And we are very blessed this year to have new, two new National Board Certified Teachers, and we have a special award waiting for them. After the annual meeting or during the annual meeting, we invite all association ambassadors to stay on as they have a very important vote uh, for our next policy board. Uh, all of our meetings are open to the public, and you are welcome to join us to see what our meetings are all about. Uh, we will have a school psychologist meeting on May 5th, uh, and we will be networking with our opportunities for Atsigo, and we're excited about this program. Uh, Many, many people have been excited about the National Board certification process. We are blessed to have two new ones, as I previously said. This is the pen, you know, this is the ultimate, the top pinnacle of um, teacher achievement. Um, and come find out what it's all about. What is the cost? Um, how can you defray these costs? We'll go over lots of these things. Uh, we are reaching out. Uh, we had a teacher in our region ask for a grant writing workshop. So uh, Diana Torto has written numerous grants in the area of education, and she will be sharing her knowledge with us. Science Network will continue to meet. Uh, last week, we had a wonderful conversation with uh, the about the New York City watershed and um maps and uh, just a tremendous conversation. So we'll continue this conversation and we'll also show you how to use badge list for asynchronous learning to work over the summer. Uh, we are proud of our partnership with WSKG and the gene. Uh, so there is a special badge list connected to that. We have been running a wonderful Lunch and Learn group. Uh, we have been discussing what education is about. What should it be about? What could it look like after the pandemic is over? So this has been a very exciting group to talk to. Uh, we know that you are working. Uh, you are welcome to jump in and jump out as you need to. It was designed to just engage in some deeper thinking. Uh, we have a new PLC, a new teacher PLC. We'll be continuing to work on that, but this time we will meet at Roots uh, in Oneonta, and uh, all teachers are welcome to come join us. Um, 
and see what we do. 3D printing is a new generation of technology that I would like to see more people participate in. So we are buying a 3D printer here at the Teacher Center. We will have open office hours during the summer, and you can come and play with our 3D printer and see how it works. Uh, we, Stephanie and Jonathan Torta will be giving a very basic overview from a beginner standpoint. So we hope that you can join us and see what 3D printing is all about. And the last thing I wanted to leave you with is a congratulations to Sherburne Earlville. They have their Odyssey of the Mind uh, was a regional winner. And wanted to point out a couple of partner programs. One is by um, uh, Delaware County ACES team uh, on resilience. We will provide CTLE credits for this. And our Southern Tier Broom County Teacher Center Network um, will be bringing Brian Mendler to a virtual event and uh, sign up quickly as these seats will go fast. Brian Mendler is a big name in uh, special education and these seats are expected to fill quickly. We hope you have a wonderful month. We hope that you will come join us in our programs and we thank you for all that you do.